Hey everybody, it's me again, Chris Black the Wares. It's been so long, so, so long. Mm. <sighs> Boy, how can I put it to you? This subject is about Gotham's episode 7 of season 5. Ace Kim. Mean Chris Black Thor Harris. I will tell you. Upon the episode, we have watched the steps of every single villain that comes out and become their true selves, which is who you say. Riddler. Penguin. Catwoman. Pain. Paquette. The greatest origin. Of them all. The greatest time of them all. The greatest moment in Batman Universe history. Hmm, now what was that again? Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It is. of crime, the true joker, you know, it, it kills me to know that everywhere, hmm, is chemicals, for every moment of season four was leading up the event where Bruce Jerome had to relive a moment together. A moment. It, it hurt. It hurt. They, they relived a moment. face type joker. Yes, they had him. Now they have Jerome. The killing joker. <gasps> That's it out loud. Did you hear that, people? The killing joker. But in order to become the real joker, Bruce and Jerome had to fight each other at a chemical plant. We're in that fight. Batman. Zero Year, a.k.a. Bruce Wayne. And Jerome. I want to call him something else besides the Joker. Oh, Jerome, the Red Hood. Yes. Ha ha, I did good, didn't I? Yes, people. Please clap, please clap, please clap. Go clap, go clap, go clap, go clap. And I'm here to tell you right now, people. I'm here to tell you that they went from a mansion all the way to a chemical plant. And when... The Red Hood, a.k.a. Jerome, blew up. Wayne Manor, they did a Batman Begins moment. Because remember now, Ra's al Ghul blew up Bruce's Manor. And Batman Begins. So, it's trying to do the Gotham with blowing up, with this time, Jeremiah, a.k.a. the Red Hood, blowing up blowing up Wayne Manor. So, they decided to make 
from movie to TV. Now that is awesome. I'm not gonna lie, that's awesome. <laughs> then chased them all the way to Ace Chemicals before Harley Quinzel come blow up. I'm sorry, shoot fireworks with a joke like gas. Which I think you already done that before. I forgot what Batman animated series that was. Hmm. Let me look that up. But she could think. Well, actually, she almost did. Thanks to a commissioner, Gordon. No, I'm sorry, Detective Gordon. I'm sorry. I forgot he had a commissioner yet. I mean, if that were to happen, the mainland of Gotham would not help them, which means James Gordon, he's, he saved the, the people of Gotham and the help of the mainland. <laughs> and, oh, guess what? Barbara's pregnant. Yeah, she was glowing in the episode. It was a marvelous glow. Yes, yes. Marvelous. Gl oh. But she still couldn't kill a penis because of the baby. I mean, who, who baby is that? There's James Gordon and her baby. James Gordon, baby, ain't gonna help you kill somebody. Hoo hoo. But let me get to you what I was saying earlier. They had, they went all the way from an alley where his parents was killed to Ace Chemicals. They fought. So this is how it works. Bruce comes out to meet Jeremiah. But Jeremiah starts to charge. He didn't know what happened until Jeremiah started to barge. With Bruce's one swing, he knocked the knife out of his hand. We don't know what would happen then. For every single punch to every single swing, from headbutt to headbutt, they stage every single moment of that fight is chemical plants. They make sure they read a comic where the Red Hood, aka Jeremiah, bump Bruce, aka the Dark Knight himself, Batman, in the head. He started swinging. He trying to push him over there. He kept on pushing. Kept on pushing. Next thing you know, when Jeremiah came for the last right swing, over he went into the vat of the Ace Chemicals. Yes, man, that was whack. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. That wasn't whack because that's how the Joker was born, people. Joker born. TV last night. We had fun. We always had fun. We enjoyed ourselves and we was happy to know that very soon they're going to give a David Muzo, Muzuzo his zero year back suit so he could protect God the way he needs to protect him. Are you hearing me? Because I'm going to tell you right now. Fox, Gotham producers, Gotham directors, people of Gotham cast, you need to give this boy David Muzo his zero year bat suit. Why? Because he needs it. This is a message to you guys. He needs it. Stop making him wearing that black coat. Okay? Y'all gave him his gloves. Just give him the bat suit. Stop making him wear that black coat. He need a mask so he can make sure he protect himself and the people that's around him. You know how many people got killed now since he had no mask? I tell you. I can't name them all. I can't name them all. I can't breathe. <gasps> oh, yes, I can. Why? Because I'm make sure this works out. David Mazuzo need his zero year bat suit. Y'all gave him his Bruce's vigilante bat suit. Okay? 
So how about this? Give him his bat suit. I have posted on Google Plus of what he would look like as the Batman. Thanks to a certain someone doing a Photoshop of what he would look like in a bat suit. So, if you want to know what David Mazuzo looked like on Batsu, go to my Google Plus page. Or go to Batman and Gotham Knight, I mean, Black, and slash Black Lightning Universe, and look him up. And you see what I'm talking about. So, Gotham producers and Fox producers, get on it. Get some research. That Photoshop picture's there. Look at him as David Mazuzo, as the Batman. Zero year. If you have fast lightning, hands, and talk, please, I will bring down the on you. My name is Chris Black Lord Harris, and I can bring down the boom.